Now this is my model 1877 Colt dual action 41 caliber Thunderer. It's been in the family for as long as I've been alive and I, I believe it was bought new for one of my ancient relatives but all the relatives are deceased now so there's no way that I can ask the, the providence or history of this. Uh, I didn't know, this is just like my Mauser, I did not know what this was until I actually went on YouTube and someone said well, look very closely at and I'm going to see if I can get this lighted and, uh, look at the um, this name right here I'm going to see if I can get just the right anyway it says Colt uh, DA41 maybe if I do it like that it's better uh, 41 caliber I was thinking about having it refinished the first thing and the first thing uh, everyone said on YouTube was do not have it refinished this has the pearl handled pearl grips and these are bird's eye I guess they're bird's eye and I'm not a gun expert okay so don't quote me on anything I, I just this what I'm not, that's supposed to be like a bird's beak and that's the eye I guess well look how thick those are that's just and what listen listen to this and look how flat that is that's absolutely totally milled flat and they have little metal inserts and what I want to do is show you uh, the gun the pistol and what I found wrong with it I took it apart last year and I put it on uh, I put a, I made a video of it and then I I bought the uh, parts that were broken which when when the gun when the pistol broke it wasn't torn apart or anything like that it was just put up on a shelf now I'm going to see if I can uh, see one of you experts in barrel wear of course this is an Austrian spy pistol right here and as you can see it's very very dangerous it makes a this would be my uh, probably my main gun if I was an old west guy and this would be my hideout gun and just in case I needed to to blast a division or a cavalry or, or um, you know 10 or 12 guys you know just another day's work okay this is the cylinder and I, what I'm going to try and do is hold it up to this light and see if I can get a reflection of what it looks like down down the gullet and see if anyone knows about wear what I've found is there isn't much wear if I look at these areas here and here um, there's not a lot of grit damage there is they, this doesn't look too bad at all the finish has worn I believe it's because well due to the corrosive factor of the, of the bullets but also uh, one gentleman pointed out rightly so I guess I didn't even think about it that back then they used um, you know spit in a rag all right, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna look down this here, and I clean this with a um, Remington wipe, and I want to see if I can get a look at the at the uh, rifling, and maybe someone can tell me if the rifling looks good. No, I just had it. Let's see. Maybe right about there. Let's see. I think light rifling looks pretty good, but as you can see on the um, the barrel thickness, see how thin that is? I mean, that barrel thickness is almost as thin as this Austrian. I really hate looking down the barrel of that because it's very, very dangerous. I don't like looking down the barrel of anything, unloaded, un anything. I have a uh, 
Well, anyway, we'll go on to the next video, but my father always taught me if you don't point a gun at a person, you, you, you can't hit them. Okay, next video. And then I'll, uh, next video I'll show you, uh, I'll lay these out and I'll show you the weaknesses in the mechanism that I see it. And I'm not an expert at it at all, so I'll just show you my, my opinion.